We're kicking off summer 2024 with a brand new CTGP update, which includes five new tracks, two major updates, and three minor updates. This time the removals are Dreamworld Cloudway, Envenom Snowstorm, Item Fireland, Unfinished Mario Circuit, and Warp Pipe Island. As per usual, I'm going to walk through the new tracks and the major updates for you guys in today's video. Is anyone else crying about these removals though? Cause like, I literally grew up with Dreamworld Cloudway and Item Fireland. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this update. All right, the first new track we have here is Darkness Temple, remade by the one and only Wii Luigi. And yes, you heard that right. This is a remake of a custom track all the way from 2012. We're seeing Darkness Temple return to CTGP after a very long hiatus, I want to say. I don't, I honestly don't even remember the last time this track was in the pack. And in case you guys might recognize the name, this was in a video of mine from years and years ago, and I do have to say, this track already looks miles better in terms of the scaling, because this was notoriously such a long track, averaging like four and a half to five minutes every race. Like, it, it was not okay. I, I, won't even, I won't even lie to you guys. But we're seeing a remake of it, which scales it a lot smaller than it used to be. So what I'm, what I'm going to change up for this video, guys, as you can see, I have triple shrooms in first. So I'm going to drive a regular lap of the track, and then I'm going to start showing you guys some of the shortcuts that exist on all of these tracks here. And this one, this one's a pretty simple track. There's not too much going for it, so there's not too much to showcase. But the main thing I will say is, I'm honestly very surprised that I'm hearing this track name again in 2024. Because I thought I had seen the last of this track years ago when it got removed from the pack. But now, it's back again, and it's amazing. So here we have a one shroom shortcut at the very beginning, which might be a little bit troubling but that's that's honestly not even the main shortcut but i can see a lot of races relying on that beginning cut there especially with the first set being just before the cut but we are coming up on our next shortcut in just a little bit i'm gonna see i, I believe that the next fastest shortcut should be right over here you can just go through this dirt right here and then end up right at this ramp and then the main shroom spot is actually going to be right after these trick pads this is a shortcut that wasn't in the previous version all you gotta do here, you gotta hop, you shroom, and you land on this block, and this is the biggest time save in terms of shortcuts on this track. I honestly think it's really cool that this track has some shortcuts, especially in the sections where they exist, because one of the big problems that I had with this track is that it was really boring to race on. Like, it was just a bunch of long straightaways, and there was just, like, not a lot of, like, not a lot of driving stuff going on. You were kind of just, like, you know, holding A, going off of boost panels, occasionally driving off some ramps and all that. But as you can see now, everything is way closer together, and we're only like, what, 2 minutes, 20 seconds into the race, and we're already starting lap 3. On the old version, we would have been, you would have been lucky to even be like, crossing the line into lap 3 at this point. And yeah, here we are, we're like, about halfway through the lap already. But let me know what you guys think of this update. Do you think it's like, faithful to the original version from 12 years ago? Do you think some things could have been changed? I personally think that this update does the track justice because i i personally was never a fan of the original track either i did find it to be very boring but this remake definitely does breathe some life into it that we never had before as we're approaching the end of this update here well the end of this track here rather let me know like what you guys think because i'm definitely want to know what everyone thinks about this update about this track in particular because this is one for the old school players rather than any of the new school players so we're gonna wrap up darkness temple here and that brings us to the end of our first track in this new update. Let's move on to the next one and see what else we got. Next up, we got Fort Francis made by Jaden, Gabriella, and JC. And off of my very first impressions, I won't even lie to you guys. When I first saw this track, I thought it was a Minecraft themed track. And maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But like, you know, seeing that little portal thing in the background definitely makes me think it is. But you know, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. What I really appreciate about this track is that it's so like thematically different from anything else we've seen in CTGP in recent years. Just like the sort of like blocky aesthetic that we have going on. I don't remember like ever seeing this before. And another thing I really like about this is that it's very linear. It kind of like has its draws to RBC to in one way, which obviously, you know, I love RBC on regs, you know, N64 Bowser's Castle, one of my longtime favorites in the game. Well, actually, just my favorite regular track in the game. 
But we're approaching the end of the first lap here. Oh, well, it says on the side. So yeah, Super Paper Mario. Okay, I actually had no idea what this what this track was based off of. So we can go up here actually and take and like oh. I thought I was gonna fail, but you know what? Okay, I did that pretty poorly, but you can skip that turn there as you can see. But there are a few more shortcuts spread out throughout this track. You're gonna be able to see all three of them this lap. We're gonna be approaching the first one in just a little bit. Actually, it's a few turns away. But what what do you guys think of this? I have honestly never played Super Paper Mario, so I don't really know much about it. So the first shortcut, we go up here and then use a shroom to cut off this dirt and go over here. The next shortcut right away we go on this rail and i believe oh okay yep and then chain that into one last shortcut at the end of the lap and that is all the shortcuts that we have on fort francis so i think this one's gonna be a really popular track in ctgp like it's like i said it's just so thematically different it stands out from everything else that's in the pack already and i know a lot of people were really excited to see this one added to the pack I am myself included because I have played this track many times in another CT pack. I don't recall how old this track is exactly, but I do remember really liking it. So do you guys think this track is going to be popular? I think this might be the most popular track from the update already. And obviously that's a bold assumption of me to make. Oh, am I off the track? Okay, so that, that actually might be a little bit more difficult than I thought. So you have to land on a very specific part before you trick back onto the track. That's really interesting, actually. Okay, and I can trick Sniper Green there. Let's go. And that is the end of Fort Francis. Do you guys think that's going to be the best track at this update? I think it might be the most popular. As for the best, uh, we'll, have, we'll have to see before we, before we get to the rest of these tracks. That being said, though, let's move on to the next one. Next up, we got Toad's Temple made by Lucio Wins and Tarsa129. And honestly, I gotta say, it's been a while since we've seen any sort of track themed after a character. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna go for some mushrooms at the beginning of the race. Those item boxes looking really slick. And we're just gonna take the regular route on lap one. We have a very interesting visual theme going on. I can't say it's one that I've seen in a while. And it kind of makes me feel a little bit nostalgic. If you guys were around for like 2014, 2015 CTs, this kind of gives me that sort of vibe. And in one way, it's kind of charming. It's really nice to see something like this. There's a lot of variety going on here. Like, okay, well, now I'm just getting hit. Rosalina's not gonna bump me off. I think Rosalina tried bumping me off. That wasn't very slick. So we have a few different routes to go on this mushroom section. I'm just gonna bounce off every single one of these mushrooms here, see what's going on before we do anything fancy. And I don't know how I feel about those sticky tricks. You know, I think that's the only thing I'm kind of doubtful of here. And I gotta remember not to go for any really funny shortcuts at the very beginning of the race. It's, it's hard not to, I can't lie. But this section here, there's a lot of different paths to go, which is something I can really appreciate. And this part up here, I believe the fastest way, you're gonna go to the left. And then, oh, alright. Okay, so you can get tricks off of all this stuff. And that last part actually isn't trickable, which I found very surprising. Because normally in CTs, you have a lot of stuff to trick off of. All right, so the first strat we have on this track, we're going to shroom off here and then bounce off this mushroom and get all the way on this top path. And I'm not sure how much time this part alone saves, but we're going to see there is more to this than meets the eye. Okay, so this part, okay, I wasn't sure how much this goes, but now you can go over here, land on top here, and get a trick. And there's another strat over here. You can go over here, go up top, and this yellow mushroom here is actually a boost and you can get a lot of speed off of that one mushroom there. So that's going to be a major time save for the shroomless route even. And I'm not sure if there's a lot of other cuts here. Let's see if I can try one here. I believe you can do something like this. And then go towards the middle. And this way you get another item box up here. And I believe a double flip trick. Yep, that is a double flip trick indeed. And we're going to go off of the right side this time. See what else we got to look at here. And it's a little bit weird to maneuver, I won't lie. But I do like how much, how many options we're being given for different routes we can take. And I imagine that, you know, another cut we can just take is right over there. And wow, okay, that was just over before I even knew it. <laughs> well, that was Toad's Temple. Let me know what you guys think. It's been a while since we've seen a character themed track. I think, it, I think this does a really good job of being themed around Toad. But with all this being said, though, let's move on to our next track in the update. Alright guys, for our fourth track this update, we have Toadette's Castle, made by Funky Racer and Toadette Hackfan. 
And yep, we have another character theme track and a perfect follow up for Toad's Temple. I honestly didn't know how to feel about this track the first time I saw it, but then I realized there's a Toadette that's just throwing fireballs at you ready to kill. And that's an insane thing to me because you never see anything like that, let alone in a custom track. Like, I never thought I would see anything like that. But one thing I can really appreciate up here, we got the BCB carpet tricks. I always love those. Like, I've, we've seen them on a few. Oh, wow. I just got bamboozled by the track. We've seen that on a few custom tracks now. And it's starting to become a little bit more of a popular feature as years go by. But I do really like it. Now we have the spiral section coming up here. A little bit of a funny shape, but I do really like it. It does favor, like, you know, the drifting really well. And we got a lot of stuff with Toadette and Toad. We got Mario and Luigi up there as well. Now we have two pads here once again. I'm going to show you guys this top path on the first lap. We get to see these little Toad dudes over here just having a good time. And more like Thwomps having the pink mushroom on them. I believe that's just a pink mushroom. I don't know if that's Toadette specific art. Now I'm going to skip an item set here and show a strat early. Because this right here is actually weak off route. Now, I don't know how much of that is actually faster to skip, but it is important to note you are skipping out on an item box if you do decide to skip that. And this ending section here, just a nice little vibe. You got a toad vibing on a bench. You can see the scene up above, all the CPUs passing by. And I do like these warning signs here. It like gives you, it lets you know, like you're in for one treat with Toadette just tossing that fire at you, ready to kill. And, you know, I never thought Toadette would be one to kill like that, but... You know, never know what's going to happen on these CTs. All right, so like like we've been doing the last few, we're going to show off the shortcuts. The first one coming up right here. You want to use your mushroom a little bit before this cut. That way it runs out in the air and allows you to land at an optimal angle. Nothing that can skip the spiral, unfortunately. Would be pretty cool if that was the case, but, you know, you got to appreciate a good spiral, you know? You, you can't go wrong with a good spiral. And the next fast shroom cut is actually if you go on the bottom route. Now, it might have been hard to see, but maybe you guys saw it lap one. But we're going to have an item box here, and we have some stairs. We can go up here and shroom through this part before being at the thwomp section again. And the last shortcut is honestly one of my favorites in this entire update. Now, I hope I don't mess this up. So what you can do here, you can spin drift hop and then skip that entire turn, which I think is such a cool strat. I will note if you land inside of the fence, though, you are going to be counted out of bounds. But I believe that's only a problem if you try to go really tight. Anyway, we're approaching the very end of the fourth track in this update, Toadette's Castle. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I think this one and Toad's Temple did really good jobs with their themes. And I'm just really excited to see how these play. I think this track's going to play really well online. It's going to give really interesting races, especially towards the very end with that shortcut in the grass section. Or just all the shortcuts at the very end, if you count the one beforehand. Anyway, let's move on to our final brand new track in this update. For all my old school gamers, this is Volcanic Skyway made by Bento, Big Auto 2, and Metabus. And yes, we have a remake of Volcanic Skyway. And this time, we don't have a number attached to it. We just have straight up Volcanic Skyway. I don't remember the last time I ever saw anything like that. And I'm just hitting the pokey. But we got a very nice change of scenery from the original version. As you can see here, this volcano is honestly one of my favorite parts. It just looks so cool. I just, I just love how this track looks. Then we're still going to be shot up just like the cannons from Volcanic Skyway 3 and 4 before we're greeted with a turn and a similar cloud section to Volcanic Skyway 4. I think, let me know what you guys think about this one because the, the goal of this track was to take all the best parts from the previous Volcanic Skyways and bring them all together for this brand new track here. And we have a nice, not very long descent, but somewhat of a long descent. And there, there's an item box on that bird. If I remember correctly, that is a star box. And I don't know how likely it'll be for anyone to get it, or if anyone will get it. But if anyone does get it, that'll be a very interesting factor in online races. But as you can see, we have a crazy theme going on. We just have like everything going on. We got these Goombas vibing with us. We got this desert town thing going on. We got all the spectators at the finish line. I will say, out of all the tracks in this update, this is the one that I am the most excited about. I've seen this one go through the development. I just love seeing all the changes that have been made throughout it. And obviously, guys, now we're on lap two. I'm gonna start showing off, showing off some shortcuts. Obviously, there's not many before the mushroom section. 
On that note, what do you guys think of the mushroom section? You know, it's not a very long mushroom section. I'll give you that. But I love how they're differentiated by different being a different color. So let me see if I can remember how to do this. I believe you just got to do this. Get a drift. And then you use your mushroom. Go over here. Wheelie onto this mushroom pad. Trick off and get a lot of extra air. And there is... There are two more strats on this track, none of them requiring shrooms. What you can do here, you can go off to the side right after this flip trick and get a moon jump that lands you right before the last ramp. Now, I believe the only other strats that really exist on this are just shrooming through the grass here. And then all you do here, you can jump here and then land underground. And as you can notice, we have a little bit more of a flip trick when we go on the bottom path than we did on the top. So. With this being the final new track of this update, what do you guys think of all these new track additions? Which one's your favorite? I personally think this one's gonna be my favorite from this update. I don't know about it being the best. I still think, you know, Fort Francis will probably be really popular, but if there's any track that I'm gonna pick, this is definitely gonna be the one for me because I've always loved the Volcanic Skyway tracks and anything that takes the best of all three of them is one that I can vibe with big time. So I think what else I can do here is just go on this bottom path and then use this boost panel, get some air time, land on this boost panel for a pretty cool moon jump strat. Now, I think that's the fastest way to take that shroom us. I could be wrong. I'm sure I'll find out soon enough after, you know, this update is officially released compared to the time that I'm recording this. Okay, well, I missed the boost panel there, so that could have been better. But dude, I, I gotta appreciate these Goombas right here. Like, if I just like... Yeah, I can't even get rid of him. Like, bro, bros are just vibing. Now, I think there's one strat I want to... I don't know if it's fast or not. But I think what you can do here, if you, like, go up against this wall... Ah, uh, okay, but you can kind of get lower air. And maybe even, like, stick to it. But anyway, that being said, we have reached the end of the brand new tracks in this update. Let me know what you guys think of all the new additions. And now we're going to move on to our major updates. For our first major update, we have Lava Road made by Karen, Fire Luigi, Renegade Sierra, and Zoot McSchmoo. And I've got to say, off of first impressions, this looks sick compared to what we previously had. Now, I don't believe it's like much of a significant update in terms of the actual layout. I think it's more visual than anything else. But even, even then, it's like, this looks so much better i feel like because one of the problems i had with the with the version that we just had is that it was kind of hard to see the edges sometimes and as you can see here i can already see the edges on the mushroom part before i even got to it which i think was a very very essential update i know a lot of people were getting confused at that part so not much seems to have changed some texturing stuff going on the scenery in the background has changed to be Okay, I, okay, I gotta admit, that scenery in the background is insanely cool. Like, I think it was pretty, it was pretty bland earlier. So, seeing such a major scene in the background is just, I think it definitely makes Lava Road live up to its name. It makes it seem like a final boss type of track, how I always used to see it when I just started playing CTs back in 2013 or so. And, okay, I thought I was gonna get hit by a lava pillar. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm going to make this cut, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. In case you guys don't already know about this one, there is a shortcut on here that skips one turn, and it's up here. I'm going to do it in the, the way that I know how. Let's see if I can make this. Oh, okay. I didn't make it this time, but I'm not off the track, which means I can try it next lap. I'm just going to see what I can do. So what do you guys think of this update? I mean, yeah, it is mainly a visual update, but I think it's like one of the coolest visual updates we've seen in a long time or you know if you guys don't even like lava road i mean okay y'all gotta admit it does look insanely cool now or maybe it's just because i'm playing on dolphin rather than on wii and it's always looked this cool but i doubt that's the case but anyway we're approaching lab three i'm gonna see if i can just use these mushrooms to get away i'm just gonna like try to cut off a lot of time here just go all the way over there only giving myself one mushroom to try this shortcut if I don't make the shortcut here, well, you guys are going to know anyway what I'm talking about. But I just can't get over how sick this looks. Oh, I think they might have removed the fire pillars that were on those ramps. That was a major problem, in, in my opinion. And we are making the shortcut, of course. I got to make it for the video. You know, there's no reason why I don't get to show off that shortcut. I've always liked that shortcut. I don't know, like, okay, well, not always. I, I didn't like it originally, but then the spin drift method was found. And I think that was, just, it just looks so much better than, like, Drifting all the way from one side to the other. What's Waluigi doing back here? 
But anyway, we're rounding the final turn, and that is the major update for Lava Road. Do you guys think that's a W update? Let me know down in the comments down below. But anyway, let's move on to the second major update and final track of this video. For our second major update and final track of the video, we have SNES Choco Island 2 made by Slime Server. And I know what some of you are going to say, and I had the same initial thought. Choco Island 2 has been in the pack for quite a long time now, so seeing a completely different layout is going to throw some people off. And I don't blame you guys at all. But what I will say is that having a reimagined version of this track honestly gives it a breath of life because it was the current version of Choco, or well, the old version of Choco Island now, I gotta say, is less than a minute long. And that track heavily relies on shock. And if a track is gonna heavily rely on shock, it's not really good for it to be less than a minute long in total length. So seeing this sort of update honestly is really cool because it still has that Choco theme going for it. And you know the drill, we're on lap two. We still have the same beginning cut as per usual, but I believe another strat that exists here, you can go on here and then get a trick off of that as well. Okay, well, I, I just skipped out on that potential shroom cut, but I know there's a few others, but I know there's one right here. I don't know how much that saves, but there's a shroomless cut you can do here. Just skip the gap there. And I think the next fast one, I think there's a, a cut here. Okay, well, maybe, okay, maybe that one that's like cutting off the last turn might save a lot more time, but I still think it's nice that there's a lot more shortcuts on this version than the last one, because like I said, the old version was very shock heavy and the shock would determine a lot of races sometimes. You know, sometimes that's a good thing, but other times if you're on a track that short, it's not really healthy. Like after all, take a look at DS Yoshi Falls on regs. Like no one picks that track and that track has a heavy reliance on shock for such a short track as well. And same thing with Ghost Valley too. Well, I mean, there aren't any shortcuts on that, but you guys get the point. What do you guys think of this update? We haven't seen a reimagined retro of, of this drastic of a change in a while. And I think Slime Server did a really good job with this one. Are we going to see it a lot in online races? I hope so. I've always loved Choco Island too. With all that being said, let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this update. Is this a W or an L? As per usual, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.